hi everybody welcome back to my channel I am Tafaro so today I'm gonna be sharing with you something that I wouldn't say has changed my life but it has been a great addition to my life I gave up Netflix for Gaia a couple of months ago I was really fighting with myself about Netflix why I had it if it was useful to me really and truly if I was wasting my money because I really don't watch that much TV and yes there are a couple of shows that I watch on it but I'm not really that big a movie person I do watch some TV shows those TV shows aren't always on when they're not on what do I do I have nothing to watch so anyway how I came across Gaia was I had a conversation with a friend of mine and he asked me what do I do or if I make an effort to give back to Gaia so I asked him what he meant by Gaia not as I hadn't heard the word before and I figured it had something to do with with Mother Earth but um, it's not a part of my vocabulary so it's not really some it's not a word that I use I like to know the origin of things so I look back at the etymology those things are important to me when it comes to certain words and especially if I'm going to be adding a new word to my vocabulary why am I using it and what does it mean and what has it meant you know in different spaces in different times because I did that and you know how the internet algorithms work every day on every platform I went on I was seeing Gaia ads on YouTube on Facebook on Instagram everywhere I went I was seeing Gaia ads and I was ignoring them for a little while but then after a while I was just like no what the hell is this though because I keep seeing this coming up what is this about why are they harassing me I opened it when I opened it I, well, like, well I was on Facebook at the time and I opened the ad and I looked on the page and I saw some videos that were interesting I saw some yoga stuff I saw some documentary type of stuff and so I said okay let me check out the app because this actually looks interesting so I opened the app and I, there was a free trial I don't remember how many days it was I don't think it was more than a week trial it was, it was a pretty short trial I was sold after I tried it after I tried it out and I watched a few yoga videos there is Ayurveda on there there is a lot of documentaries on there there's a lot of occult and esoteric stuff on there and those things interest me I wanted to see more of it so I signed up and I deleted my subscription for Netflix immediately so I'm like I'm gonna be using this every day I'll find this useful every day Netflix is not that useful so when I'm bored or when I'm at home on the weekends or when somebody comes over and I want to entertain or something which is rarely anyway so it was pointless having Netflix really I if I really want to see something on there that desperately then I'll go and scour the internet to find it I love Gaia I loved loved it immediately I fell in love let me just tell you a little bit about it by the way before I do that let me just say that Gaia is not paying me Gaia didn't give me anything nothing at all I just happened to come across this app and I happen to like it because we it has things on there that I'm interested in not that I would have any problem with Gaia paying me Gaia if you want to pay me if you want to do business I'm open please let me know my subscribers they may want some discounts link up Gaia I'm open so in the app it's just like Netflix you know it's an, you have shows and you have movies on there and I mean um, documentaries mostly the most of the movies are documentaries this is in the browser so you have the categories and you can go through and on the home page they show you some things that you may have been watching before and they suggest different shows to you as well that they think you might be interested in can also add friends and family just like um, you can add them on um, 
Netflix. I can't find the name. There's a meditation tab. So every day there's a video just for meditation. So this one is called Balance Audio Meditation. Let's give it a hear. If it's just sounds, I don't know. Or maybe affirmations. After, first of all, set up a place which is clean and sweet and fresh and quiet. Oh, it seems as if it's... Is it comfortable? Essentially gonna teach you how to meditate. So anyway, let me go back to brows because that's where I really want to go. So in the brows section you have topics is the first one. And you have literally like plenty topics there. You can go into the afterlife, you can go into aliens, you can go into Ayurveda, uh, you can have they talk about cancer. If there's a chakras, conscious parenting, um, the dream world, energy healing, there's an immunity support section, indigenous cultures, uh, occult, like the, the, the topics there are just vast and if we just click on one, alright let's go on indigenous cultures and then you see movies you know you will see there is one called psychedelica so a lot of indigenous people actually do psychedelics but they do plant psychedelics like ayahuasca um, I watched a documentary recently about one in Africa which I can't remember what the name of it is but it's the first time I was hearing of it so it didn't really stick, stick with me but I'm sure I'll come across it again. Shamans of the Global Village. And that's a one hour show. And then there are series as well. So you have This is Becoming a Man. You have season one, six episodes. And then so you have another season with more episodes. So that's just one topic. Then you can go down to series and see what, what are all of the series that they have on there. There is a series called Beyond Belief. Lots of interesting shows on Beyond Belief. I've watched a couple of them. Um, Mystery Teachings, I've been watching that one. Uh, Ancient Civilizations, that's two seasons, 20 episodes each. Uh, Thrive. I need to watch this. Self healing with Ayurveda. Ayurveda. I'm definitely interested in Ayurveda. Secret Life of Symbols. I've, I've been watching that one as well. A whole heap of different series on there. Um, you can go into documentaries and films. So you see, um, Emotion. I was watching that one. Um, the Abundance Code. That's a really good series. I watched that one. Power of the Heart like a bunch of different series on there. Then there is yoga, which is one of my favorites because I, I go on here, I don't have to pay to go to a yoga class anymore because I've got tons of yoga classes on Gaia. Just say, okay, what am I feeling like doing right now? What kind of yoga do I feel like? And I have my favorites. And yes, there are times when um, there's something that you do need and it's not what you want to do so you really shouldn't practice just doing the type of yoga that you like to do but um, I find that I do that most of the time but anyway I try to I try to read my mind and read my body and see what it is that I really need to be doing right now but there are tons like there are so many categories you can go into all yoga practices you can go into yoga lifestyle fitness and pilates so and you can filter out I like to go by style so I would do no not by style I like to filter by focus so I think about okay what do I want to work on today I want to relax I want to work on my lower back I want to work on my hips I want to work on flexibility if I want to do breath work you know then I just choose whichever one I want to do that's it and 
I can choose you can choose based on your level so if you're level one level two level three you can choose the teacher if there is a particular one on there that you like uh, you can choose the, the length of the, 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 um, the session if you want just a short one if you want a really long one so yeah, generally I, I like 20 30 minutes I don't like to go over unless it's a really relaxing yoga like I can manage okay so alternative healing is another section and I think this is where you might find a lot of the uh, Ayurveda information oh not really it's like a bit of everything and recipes so you can like food recipes on here if you're looking for something you want juice recipes are on there um, if you're going vegan and you want some vegan ideas on here like tons tons of them I love this app I love it I love it, love it, love it. the only thing now is that I don't have access like I have on my TV my TV is a smart TV so I can get access to Netflix on it and I just realized that I can get access to the Amazon one name um, the Amazon sub name you, you get it with Prime Prime TV I have Prime TV on it but I don't have Gaia on it I don't know if it's because my, my smart TV is kind of old it's like one of the older versions of the smart TV so um, I don't know if that's the reason why but I don't get guy on it but I get it on my phone on my computer on my iPad I did see a review of Gaia that wasn't favorable and listen everything is not for everybody you must know what's for you if you're not into alternative ideas and you're a Christian then um, know what is for you and what is not for you the guy was saying oh it's a lot of pseudoscience but the thing is that Netflix isn't objective either there's a lot of bias on there a lot of um, bias documentaries are on there as well so it's not like documentaries are ever really truly objective Netflix is filled with Jewish stories they're filled with them like filled with anti stuff on Netflix so it's clear to me that Netflix they're Jews they're gonna tell a lot of their story because it's it, it helps them and their agenda like with everything else you chew the meat and spit out the bones or whatever it is you know you take what you want from it and then you leave what you don't want I don't watch everything on Gaia not everything is gonna interest me some things I'm gonna raise my eyebrows to Gaia is not gonna be for everybody all you have to do is check out the trial see if there's anything on there that interests you if it doesn't then you move on if it interests you then great there are lots of things on Netflix that I have no interest in. There are lots of things on Netflix that I think are straight up lies. There are lots of things on Netflix that I think are straight up a part of an agenda. What do I do? If I don't want to see Netflix or the things on Netflix, then I unsubscribe to Netflix. You can take what you want from it. Take what is going to be beneficial to you and push aside what is of no use to you. It's really that simple not that complicated if you guys have tried Gaia before if you have if you are a fan of Gaia if you guys are on Gaia let me know and tell me some of your favorite shows on there give me suggestions of anything that because there are tons of videos on there that I haven't seen yet I'm sure so if there are things that you have watched on there that you'd like to recommend to me please let me know that's it for this video guys we'll link up in the next one